I go to work. He comes to me after the first day's dailies, and he says, what a face, what a face. Me, awful, wonderful face. I said, I'm in trouble. I'm going to have to do what I knew I would have to do. I like comedic villainy. My biggest successes have been comedic villainy. How to do that? You know, he's no dummy, Irwin. I decided I would sneak in comedic bits and see what happens. And that's what I began to do. Just tiny little bits that didn't interfere with, with the villainy, but had a little comedic twist. I did that for a couple of weeks. Nobody said any, anything. Uh, the story editor was Tony Wilson, very, very fine man. Came in one day and he said, you ain't fooling me. I said, Tony, let's talk. He said, I don't want to talk about it. A couple of days later, Irwin charged into my dressing room and said, more, and walked out. So I went to him and I said, Irwin, did you really mean more? He said, anything you want. First time in my life, I began to, I don't claim to be a writer, but I do claim to be a wonderful rewriter. I began to rewrite every word of the script that affected me. And then, thank God, came the robot. Oh, oh Jesus. That's the best thing that ever happened to me. Tell but us about I developed the relationship and the um, alliteratives. All of that was mine. I wrote them all. I wrote everything you heard that I said to him or that he said to me. And I was allowed to do that first time in my career. And I did it to the full. I would come into work Monday, go to the script lady, Helen Parker, bless her heart, and give her the changes. She said, oh dear, it's a whole new script, isn't it? She was a lovely lady. You know, that's the toughest job in the whole world. And then she would go around and give, give the people, all the people, all the changes. I was not, I would say, well-liked. But that's neither here, here nor here, there, because it worked. It kept the show on the air. It did. Uh, and some of the people, the other people in the show, were uh, interviewed as I was by TV Guide, actually said, Mr. Harris kept the show on the air, we would have been off after 13 weeks. And that was true. What I did was so crazy at this point. I did a crazy, Dr. Smith by name, that he amused me. He delighted me. And I loved him. And it worked because we stayed on for 84 episodes. Otherwise, we would not have. And that's a fact. Was everyone appreciative of you adding this to the show? I doubt it. I doubt it, especially when the books came out, the Lost in Space books, and all of the directors were interviewed, and they said they should be grateful to Mr. Harris for paying their rent for three and a half years. So what do you think? <laughs> I let, You know, I... I I don't look for things that work. I think what is important is that a show be successful and stay on the air and be successful for yet another year. That's all that matters to me.